What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jonathan Cabrera. If you're new here, I make videos on YouTube about filmmaking and content creation. If that's something that you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so more people can see my content. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And today we're actually gonna be talking about what gear I have in the year 2019 starting out. And there are some little significant changes, but nothing too major. And honestly, I thought I had a lot more gear than this. So let's get into it. So first off, I want to talk about two pieces of gear that are not here. Obviously, my A7S II is shooting this video, and my computer is recording the audio for this video. So those two things are something that I invested a lot of money in, and those are the most pivotal pieces of all of this. Without the, my computer and my camera, this stuff would be obsolete as well. But the A7S II is a, is a very old camera now. I think it came out actually in 2015. It's full frame. Um, has great stabilization on the inside. It is just an awesome camera at low light and it's just my go-to camera. I have no problems with this camera. I have no need to upgrade. It takes great photos even though it does have 12, it's a 12 megapixel camera which is not a lot of megapixels. Maybe by the end of the year, hopefully, maybe I can upgrade it and get a better camera that takes better photos. That is the camera that I use and the lens on it right now that you're seeing me through is the 24 to 70 f4 that is my go-to lens i love that lens it's it's an awesome lens i don't want to get into too much information about it but it's it's good for wide and it's good for close-up shots my computer is a 2017 it's not fully specced out it does have the one terabyte and the two gigabyte graphics card in it it's perfect for editing 4k footage i like having the nice real estate of the big screen and it's just fast it's just a beast i love the computer it has 16 gigabytes of ram i also don't see myself upgrading that computer anytime soon when you get a macbook if you fully spec it out or just if it fits your knees you're gonna have that computer for a while so when i'm traveling when i'm shooting during the day and i have my camera bag on me this is all the stuff that i have on me so this right here is my pelican bag right here it has a laptop sleeve and it's just like a regular backpack. It's weatherproof. I have gotten rained on with this and none of my stuff has gotten damaged. It's about a hundred bucks um, on Amazon and it's really sturdy and reliable. It's actually well constructed. And I think it has like a year warranty or a lifetime warranty. It's one of those. And I just like it because it's super minimal, clean and small. And it, I don't like having, I don't want to have a big camera bag with all of my stuff in it and like multiple lenses and everything. Since I'm more of the minimalist rat, I don't have a lot of stuff. So most of this stuff is on my camera anyways and I'm holding it in my hand and the rest is just sitting here in the backpack. If I could show you guys, it has a little compartment right here up top. So I could put some little stuff here, like maybe some cables if I need it. It also has a spot in the front if I want to put anything up here, but I don't usually use that one. This is the inside, and I actually use this little pocket right here to put like some cables, some money, uh, my passport if I need it that day. And this is where you can put your laptop too. And then I put my the rest of my stuff right here. Overall, it's a good backpack. I've had it for about a year, and it's. It's really good. There's not really any wear and tear on it. It's just, it's good to go. So let's start, start talking about some of these little things right here. So I'm going to start off with this. This right here, a little zipper bag. Put all of my stuff in here. I put my extra batteries. I put my battery charger, my little light, my cables, my lens wipes, rubber bands to hold the cables together. It's just super reliable. Extra batteries for the drone. Like I have all this in one of these bags or two of these bags just really organized it keeps me it keeps me nice and organized in the bag so i don't have to like go in every little pocket and try to find something so it's super easy um all i do is just put everything in here and it's just it's 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 reliable that and you just zip it all up it's really good it's it's really good to have you know just it's easy to just pull everything out at once what do I need and then just obviously you got to have an iPhone cable I don't know what I would do without this plug this into my external battery charger my phone wherever I am super easy I have a couple of these but I only have one with me 
Next, I have the Aperture ALM9. It's an awesome little light. So I use this guy for if it's too dark and I, I can't get enough light for my face, which isn't usually the case with the Aperture 120D, but if I want to shoot something, then I can actually just turn this on and put it on myself and it'll look good. Gels on it, but it is a bright light. I don't know if you can see that, but it is super bright. You could probably go blind if you look look too long into this thing. But I also have little gel frames for it, some tungsten, some blue. Sometimes I use this thing for background light in my videos. It's a it's really cool light. It's only 40 bucks and it comes in handy. This, this right here, you need this if you're gonna shoot with Sony cameras. It's a battery charger. I have two on here all the time, and I plug this into my external battery. This was only, I believe, 30 bucks. They give you a dummy battery, but I threw those away, bought the actual Sony batteries because they're better than any dummy batteries. So these actually hold the charge. This is my external battery. I've had this thing for, I think since 2015, actually. You can see a lot of scuffs, scratches on it, but this is super reliable. I mean, this thing, it still charges my external batteries, my phone, my drone controller. It, it literally just, it works like it's brand new. I've never had a problem with this thing. I'll always get an anchor battery. If I need one, this one's like 20,000 milliamp batteries. It's about 50 bucks and it's just awesome. I, I don't know what I would do without this thing. To be totally honest with you, this, this is a lifesaver right here. Everybody should have this when you're traveling because what if your phone's gonna die and you need to call somebody or call an Uber? You're gonna want this to plug into your phone. This little guy right here. So Sony cameras have the tendency to get dust inside the sensor. I usually just take off the lens, flip the camera, blow inside of this thing, clean up my camera every single time before I go in a shoot. I did it before I shot this video to make sure that there's no dust or specks or anything on the, the frame. So you can't remove that in post, that's impossible. So you gotta really make sure that your camera's clean. This is only a couple dollars. I definitely recommend this if you are a Sony user. Definitely buy one of these and use it as much as you can before you go out and shoot. Sometimes I have a lot of cables and a lot of times I hate when those cables are just everywhere. So what I do is, let's just use this for example. Take this, wrap it around. Nice wrapped and organized. I. Look, I don't need any fancy ties. I just, rubber bands are like a dollar for these thick ones. It's like a dollar at Walmart. Just pick up a bag of like five million and you're good to go. Just wrap up your stuff. It's super easy. You don't need anything fancy. I don't want to spend $10 or whatever for five little, like little mesh bands or whatever. Rubber bands, perfect. My passport, have this with me whenever in my bag in the little zip up on the inside if we're going somewhere and I know that I'm going to need my passport. This is very important if you're traveling, make sure you have this. Not at all times, make sure you have it when you need it. Leave it at the apartment or Airbnb where you're staying in a safe spot. Okay, this is for my, this is for me and for the camera. Glasses. These guys get dirty a lot when you're traveling. Dust, just little specks of just anything. I use these, bought a pack of 50 for I think for about like five bucks. I use these all the time, they're great. There's ice wipes, super easy to use. You just rip it open, clean your lens on the outside of the camera, wipe it down, keep going, clean it. That's it, throw away the, the tissue once you're done with it and that's it. Same thing with the glasses, can clean, my, can clean my whole frame, the lenses, everything, one wipe down, that's it. That's all you need. These work great, super cheap. Make sure you have a couple of these on you at all times. This is my Rode VideoMic Pro. I have a, honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Sometimes I just leave it on all the time and forget to turn it off because it doesn't turn off and on and off with the camera. Maybe this will be the thing that I upgrade later on in the year. But uh, until then, this thing gives me good audio when vlogging and it has it has good audio. It has good audio and the dead cat on this thing works really well. So it's it's super good to vlog with. I'm just waiting for that one time that it uh, messes up on me or I leave it on or don't forget or I forget to turn it off. And then I'm just going to toss it off a cliff. Not even sell this thing. So next we're going to talk about this little guy. 
I've had this thing for who knows how long. I saw somebody in a video on YouTube have this and I was like, I need this. So I got one. I use this to tighten the bolt on the bottom of the plate for the tripod. I use this thing for my Joby Gorilla Pod. I use this thing for everything that I need a screwdriver with. This thing is super versatile. I love it. I hook it on my bag, take it with me on the airplane. Don't need, nobody says anything because it's not a sharp object or a weapon or anything. It's just super convenient. Make sure you have this if you have loose plates all the time so you can re-tighten them up super easy and super quick. Now, last but not least is the Mavic 2. I just got this thing. I've had it for about a week. It's been inside. I've updated it, done all the stuff, and I can't fly it. I can't. It's a little too foggy out, but this is an awesome drone, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm super excited to start flying it, though. The super large sensor, the image quality, I'm excited for all that. This is the only thing that I've changed since my peru vlog because i want something that's more reliable and this is something that i can trust to not fail me when i you know really need to get a shot it's definitely going to be a new experience flying a drone like this it's the most expensive drone that i've owned bag and i think this is where i draw the line at drones right now i'm just going to have this and continue to practice with this drone right here everything that you see on my channel from last year is shot just with this little bit amount of gear it just shows that you don't need a lot of stuff to create but you do it's good to have good good quality things you know you want to have a good camera you want to have a nice drone so that's it for my what's in my camera bag 2019 not a lot of stuff i know but it's just the essentials that's everything i need to create awesome content for you guys so if you like this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm and helps people see this so I can keep creating more content for you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.